What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, folks, what's going on today? Mr. Warmack, and I'm definitely in the building that you saw by the intro, so today's going to be a good video because i got a good one to talk about. So, correlate, it's a compare and contrast. Now, see... When I do these things, I do a lot of compare and contrast. If you don't know what compare and contrast means, number one, what did you do when you went to school? Because they, they said this many a time, if you've done it yourself, I think a lot of you dropped out whenever you were in the eighth grade, so I can see your point and I know what compare and contrast is. But lucky for you, I'm not going to tell you what a compare and contrast is. You know, you want to know why? Because I want to make you get off your lazy asses, use your search bar, Type in compare and contrast, and you study. But today I'm going to talk about something, uh, a real hypocritical fact. And this is coming from your uh, POTH, the POTUS, President of the United States, and the First Lady, which, which I'm cool with, that, with everything she does. I have no problem with the First Lady. She's just the First Lady. I'm going to talk about the. Uh, Black Lives Matter. Yeah, I'm tired of this one, so let me get a drink real quick, because this is going to be a good one. <sighs> nice, refreshing beverage to have on the side here. But, uh, Black Lives Matter campaign. But apparently, Black Lives Don't Matter at a uh, Planned Parenthood. The only black li black lives only matter when a white person takes. We already got we already established this and we already know this. But apparently, black lives don't matter at Planned Parenthood because of all the abortions that black people have at Planned Parenthood. How can the Obama administration still want to fund Planned Parenthood? And remember, the, remember when the uh, first lady was on uh, Twitter, was that her? Uh, it might be her, I'm not sure I'm mistaken, but she had a sign that said Black Lives Matter. And then in that same week, Obama wanted to fund Planned Parenthood, wanted to kick up the funding for Planned Parenthood. Not a lot of people caught that, I caught that. But uh, how can you have Black Lives Matter then fund Planned Parenthood? It seems to me it's like a, either an oxymoron, a contradiction, or hypocritical, or it's just it's just not ethical or right. But then again, we don't live in a we don't live in a moral and just society no more, do we? We live in a society where it's either just the way I want it, it's with my definition, and it's how it's going to be. But uh, there's the countless abortions of Planned Parenthood for people. Uh, helping the genocide machine, and let me tell you something: if you're a black person that uses Planned Parenthood or has used it in the past, you have helped the genocide machine. So it's genocide. So you're in a you're co-conspirator in genocide. So just let that sink in for a minute, because if you know your history and did your due diligence, you know what I'm talking about. But a lot of you don't do your history. Hell, a lot of you don't even do history on yourself. So. I'm just saying, if you, if you use Planned Parenthood in the past and you're black, you're a co-conspirator in a genocidal war on black people. So, but that's sad when you continue. It seems like the only select few who are willing to break the, the chains of the slave ship of the DNC, as myself and others, and we talk about this, but it, it, it doesn't get through. I mean, I'm like, you know why it doesn't get through? Because the DNC's slave ship mindset on black people and minorities overall, and, and poor poor whites, let's, put, let's, put, let's face facts. It's, it's the mindset, it's entrenched it so bad, black people won't believe it. Like when you tell black people about Margaret Sanger and playing for another the history, she met with the Klan, she wanted to eradicate black folks. They don't stop their happy black asses from going to Planned Parenthood. 
Which I gotta do another one. Instead of you going to Planned Parenthood, why don't you close your fucking legs? But that's too much to ask people. Because this is a mean society. It's me, 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 me. But, uh, you tell me, like I said, you tell me about Plan, you tell me about Margaret Sanger meeting with the Klan. And with today's a bunch of, uh, I mean, I'm not talking about, I'm not, I mean, with the Klan, when the Margaret Sanger met with the Klan, I'm not talking about today's bunch of drunk hillbillies that really just get driven to leave like Jean Jacket with the Confederate flag on the back, you know, and hold up, you know, Hitler's God. I don't mean these guys. I'm talking about when the Klan was the Klan back in the day. Back when, like, the 30s, the Klan was, like, ran by the Democrats, by the way. Let's keep that real for you idiots. And then she went, she wanted to show, she wanted to say, this is when the Klan was at their peak. And she wanted to, she wanted to pull the, like, she compared them to pull weeds. But to me, it, it's frustrating, because I can go to Planned Parenthood right now, I can protest. Which I've done, by the way. You see a lot of uh, you see you see a lot of good uh, Mormons, and you see uh, you see Methodists, but you don't see the Baptists over there. They're too busy having rib and bacon fest at the church down the streets and stuff. But uh, this is it's trying to wake the spiritually dead, you know, and, and, and these funny pastors. Obama's buddies, they're not going to really say anything. They don't have to. Because the whole thing, who doesn't get their little, their, their, their 503, I don't mean the 501c3 money? Do what you want to do, dog. It's all yours. So, uh, Black Lives Matter. I'm just not on Planned Parenthood, remember that. If you look at the statistics, and I want to, uh, here's about it, now, now, before I go, I want to say this. I can't stand when people do this. Well, there's also an undocumented. Well, if you, if you know this, bring this to me. There's also bring it, bring it to the table. Don't tell me bring it to the table. You said it. Bring it up. I hate when people bring each other these distorted facts and pull them off as real. But when you tell them bring it to the table, they they call, they got all these excuses. Well, my cat has to go to the Mayo Clinic because she's having six kittens and she's going through depression. I'm like, look, man, it's not my problem. It's your problem. If you want to present it to the folks, present it. I'm trying to bring these half ass excuses and then what I call nigga logic to the table. Because when you do it, I'm knocking down. So, Black Lives Matter. They really do. But just not a play of heroin. Peace.